Alright everybody, shut up, we're making cake lore cakes. Hey everybody, it's Hammy, and I'm not dead. Uh, who told you I was dead? They f***ing lied. Nah, I moved. Uh, and now I've got a whole new situation here. Isn't that pretty cool? Check it out. I got bisexual lighting. A fancy metal top to cook on. W whatever the hell this guy is. I forget his name. I think it's Munchy. S Super Munchy. Alright, correct me in the comments if... if if you think it, I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure this guy's name is Munchy, alright? I could be wrong. From now on, uh, I'm gonna be showing more of my fat face too, so that should be fun. Anyway, let's get on to the recipe, which is from Pokemon Legends Arceus, of course. And making them is pretty simple, and here's how. You'll need some eggs, some sugar, heavy cream, and a little bit of vanilla if you want it. Let's make a big batch of it, yeah? All right, in a medium-sized bowl goes your eggs and your sugar. Get them light and yellowy. Now get a small pot of water to the boil. This is my new stove, and I hate it. Gas stoves really suck. I, I, I hate them. Cooking with fire, what am I, a dang caveman? Once the water is boiling, place the bowl with the eggs on it and start to whisk. We want to cook these and thicken it slightly. My situation got too hot, so I took them off the heat so they wouldn't turn into scrambled eggs. But once you touch the mixture and the sugar has dissolved, you should be fine. But be careful, because it is pretty hot. Set this aside to cool for a bit. Alright, now it's time to whip some cream. Now, last time I was whipping something, it was egg whites, and I almost died. Um, that was in the Jubilife Muffin video, if you want to check that out. You can watch me suffer. but. This is a small amount of cream, and it's cream, which whips up pretty easily anyway. Um, you can absolutely use electric beaters to get it to stiff peaks, but I'm just using it by hand. The stiff peaks. It should look like this. Alright, add a little bit of vanilla here if you want it. Alright, a third of this mixture goes into the eggs, and you don't have to be precious about it. Just beat it in there. Now you can add the mixture to the rest of the cream. You want to fold. Carefully fold. You can use a spatula, but I'm using my whisk. Okay, now you don't need molds. You can make these in any old cup or bowl that you have lying around, as long as you line it with plastic, but I've got molds, so I'm using them. And would you believe it? This amount of base made exactly six cakes, which is pretty awesome. I like it when things work out like that. Alright, these are good plain, but we're gonna flavor them too. And as long as the mixins aren't too wet, you can go pretty crazy here. Here are a few of the ones I'm gonna make. First up, bean cake. Matcha's kind of the bean of the tea world, right? Not really, but it is green, so we're using it. Go light. I used about a quarter teaspoon here, but honestly, I could've used a little bit less. Thin it out with a little bit of water, add it to one of the molds, and stir it in with a chopstick. Nice. All right, for the mushroom cake, I'm using Dutch processed cocoa, but you can use whatever you have. Also thinned out with a little bit of water, about a quarter teaspoon of each here. Whisk it into the cake, just as before. All right, here's my favorite, raspberry jam. Uh, mix it up with a spoon to loosen it. Now, this is homemade, so it's a little bit thicker than store-bought. If you use store-bought, it's probably more runny. You probably don't need to stir it as much. And when I do add it to the cake lure base, um, I don't stir it in all the way, because I kind of like a nice circle effect. Honey? Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, next time, I would have added a little bit of lemon juice here. That would have made it really, really good. The last two, I'm gonna leave plain. Park these in the freezer for at least four hours, but I tend to lean on at least eight. In the meantime, while I have you here, why don't you like and subscribe, dummy? Click the bell icon too, cause it's gonna be a pretty intense summer with lots of awesome frozen treat recipes, uh, like the one you're watching right now. And I don't want you to miss it. Love you. Just kidding, or am I? All right, once they're almost done, we can make our toppings. Crunch up some vanilla wafers. Now, I tried to get these chunky, but that didn't end up working. I ended up having to pulverize them in my food processor. You really, there's really no room for chunky here. All right, let's unmold one and top it. Keep the rest in the freezer. First up, bean cake. In a bowl goes a little bit of powdered sugar and a little bit of matcha. This doesn't have to be exact. Add some vanilla wafers and roll it up. Okay, now if nothing sticks, rub the outside of the cakes so that they get a little bit sticky and then they'll get covered in the, in the topping. Look at that. 
put it back in the freezer until it's ready to eat. Next up, my favorite, salt lure cake. All right, these are freeze dried raspberries, but strawberry works too. Add it to vanilla wafers. See, it wouldn't stick, but if you pulverize it, you get a nice yummy powder that does stick. Whoa, Nelly, that's a pretty cake. Next up, mushroom cake. Powdered sugar and cocoa. I'm using extra dark Dutch cocoa, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Roll it up, you get it, it's not hard. Honey cake is easy, it's just plain old cookies. As for wheat cake, this one is gonna take a little bit of a deviation. We're adding pretzels to the mix, salty and sweet, the best. All right, the last one is just gonna get powdered sugar. Check these out. You can easily make them all one flavor and actually next time I'm probably gonna do that. Uh, but I figured I'd show you a bunch of ideas on how to make a bunch. When it's time to serve, I put the cake on a plate and I let it defrost for about five minutes, give or take how hot your house is. Of course, because this is a salt lure cake, I'm gonna put some flaky sea salt on top. This sort of tastes like those strawberry shortcake bars that you get from the ice cream man, uh, just a little bit fancier. Cake lure cakes are yummy. Which cake lure cake do you wanna try? Sound off in the comments. In the meantime, let me know what you want me to make and I might just make it in a future video. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.